What happens during a synthesis reaction? We use the formula A plus B yields AB to represent a synthesis reaction. There are three main types of synthesis reactions. Firstly, two elements forming a binary compound. Secondly, an element in a compound forming a new compound. And thirdly, two compounds forming a new compound. There are three different ways that two elements can form a binary compound. A monovalent metal reacts with a nonmetal to form an ionic compound. A multivalent metal reacts with a nonmetal to form various ionic compounds. And two nonmetals combine to form a molecular compound. Firstly, a monovalent metal reacts with a nonmetal to form an ionic compound. During this reaction, there is a transfer of electrons. A metal that is monovalent means that it has one set charge, as opposed to a multivalent metal. For example, sodium is monovalent because it only has a charge of positive 1, while copper is multivalent because it can have a charge of either positive 1 or positive 2. An example of a monovalent metal reacting with a nonmetal to form an ionic compound is sodium plus chlorine yields sodium chloride. If you are unsure as to how we balance the equation or why the elements have certain states, make sure to check out our other videos, Balancing Chemical Equations and How to Figure Out the States of an Element or Compound. Secondly, a multivalent metal reacts with a nonmetal to form various ionic compounds. For example, copper plus chlorine yields copper 1 chloride, and copper plus chlorine yields copper 2 chloride. This is because copper, as we mentioned, is multivalent. Copper has a charge of positive 1 and positive 2, therefore yielding two different results. Thirdly, two nonmetals combine to form a molecular compound. For example, carbon plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide, and carbon plus oxygen yields carbon monoxide. They are both nonmetals, and carbon is multivalent, so they form molecular compounds. Next, an element and compound forming a new compound. There are two different ways that it can occur. Any element and any compound forming a new compound and a metal chloride plus oxygen gas yields a metal chlorate. An example of an element and compound forming a new compound is phosphorus trichloride plus chlorine gas yields phosphorus pentachloride. Phosphorus trichloride is our compound and chlorine gas is our element and phosphorus pentachloride is our new compound. An example of a metal chloride plus oxygen yields a metal chlorate is sodium chloride plus oxygen gas yields sodium chlorate. Sodium chloride is our metal chloride, and oxygen gas is oxygen, and sodium chlorate is our metal chlorate. Finally, two compounds forming a new compound. There are three different ways that two compounds can form a new compound. A metal oxide plus water yields a metal hydroxide, a nonmetal oxide plus water yields a nonmetal oxy acid, and a metal oxide plus carbon dioxide yields a metal carbonate. Firstly, a metal oxide plus water yields a metal hydroxide. For example, sodium oxide plus water yields sodium hydroxide. The metal oxide is sodium oxide, and H2O is the water, and it yields sodium hydroxide, which is the metal hydroxide. Secondly, a nonmetal oxide plus water yields a nonmetal oxy acid. For example, carbon dioxide plus water yields carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide is our nonmetal oxide, and H2O is water, and it yields carbonic acid, which is the nonmetal oxy acid. Finally, a metal oxide plus carbon dioxide yields a metal carbonate. For example, sodium oxide plus carbon dioxide yields sodium carbonate. Sodium oxide is our metal oxide, and CO2 is carbon dioxide, and it yields sodium carbonate, which is our metal carbonate. And that's synthesis reactions explained quickly. Thank you for watching! Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more chemistry videos. Comment down below any questions you'd like to see answered next.